Welcome to the Oracle of Lilith. My name's Amy, and I'm so glad you're here today. I hope you slept well, or I hope your day went well, whenever you're watching this. Okay. All right, I'm going to get um, like a general collective message today. So take what resonates and leave the rest behind. I do also private personal sessions. All that information is down in my description box and somewhere. My contact information is somewhere on the screen. So, all right. How are you guys doing? Okay. All right. I'm going to get five cards. If this is the first the first time you viewed my one of my videos, thank you. I appreciate you being here. Please subscribe. I'd love to have you here as part of my tribe. I have some of the most amazing people who are my subscribers, and I, I have some amazing friends, so I appreciate you guys. Okay, let's go. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's see if I can. Oop. Nope. You guys, what is going on with my cards? Let me not. Let me knock these cards. I was doing so well, and then I turned the camera on, and now they won't shuffle. There we go. Okay. Five cards. Whoops. Well, there is three. I'm going to take them. There's that one. And there's that one. Okay. All righty, right. Okay. Well, we have the Ten of Swords. So done and done. <laughs> we have the Five of Wands. Wow. <sighs> we have the Six of Swords again. We had that yesterday. We have the Four of Swords. Lots of Swords. And we have the Hanged Man. Okay, you guys. All right, so maybe we're starting to get to the nitty gritty of what's been going on. You know, what these negative emotions are, what's the, what the negative happening is with what's going on in the world. Okay, I uh, got up and reframed my cards a little bit better. So, okay. Now, uh, the Ten of Swords. So this is something you're done with, done and done, over and done. Um, the pain's been inflicted. It's time to get up and move on. It's time to um, let it end. And I feel like there's just a need here to let it, not let it go, but just let let it end uh, and move on. And I feel like the five of wands here, I'm feeling like this is trying to get it together <laughs> and trying to get your stuff together and trying to move on with these six of swords. There's just a lot of energy of movement here. Um, we have the building or the fighting card. We have the, the sailing on card. Um, and I feel like uh, there's an end to strife coming. This this energy here, it's ending. But, you know, it's important to take a new perspective on your life. I feel like there's a renewed energy coming through. And uh, it's really important that uh, you pay attention to the things that are good for you and do those things, okay? Um, put your energy into good things, okay? Because this Ten of Swords can linger too long. And uh, I feel like they're wanting you to get up and get going. Uh, find a focus, whatever it is, find a focus and move forward, okay? Because they want to put an end to the hardship. Some of you may be feeling really tired. Uh, you may actually be feeling like you need to take some time for yourself. Do that because this feels emotional. This feels like emotional clearing here of um, some really toxic energy, okay? So... Take time for yourself, um, and uh, I'm feeling like there's a need here for peace. So, you know, you do what makes you feel peaceful, and that's different for everyone. I always say meditation, but meditation doesn't always make people feel peaceful, okay? Sometimes it brings up these Ten of Swords emotions. So, um, you know, spend some time doing something creative. Uh, creativity is a form of meditation, and... You know, if you draw, if you write, for some people playing video games is creative. Everyone is different and everyone's mind works differently. This, um, this uh, hanged man here. Now, um, this is about being a visionary, okay, and embracing the ecstatic and the spiritual. So I feel like this, what's happening here is really going to help you have um, a renewed vision in your life. There's a, it's like... Um, I don't know. Some people, when they go to uh, to uh, spiritual meetings, uh, they always come out feeling refreshed. They feel like they've had a boost of energy because they have. And I feel like that's what's coming here. There's a boost of energy coming from the universe to help you move forward. And I think by the time you get to shore, 
these swords, whatever they are for you, you will have clarity about them. Okay, the number six here is important. Five, six, so we're moving in step. Okay, so this is a step. So, but you've got to get up. You've got to make the decision that you're not going to allow this situation to control you. You're going to release it to the universe and you're going to trust your path. You're going to trust your path you're on. And right now you're on a boat. Okay, so you're sailing on water and that is, that's intuition, that's emotion, that's creativity. So those are good things. Those are good things to be in contact with, especially with this mental energy with the Six of Swords. Um, so it's really good to not just um, romanticize your emotions, but to examine them with a logical mind, okay? Be balanced in how you approach your emotions. Be balanced in how you approach other people right now, okay? Take time for yourself. And um, in this card here, you know, there's three swords on the wall that represent three battles won, okay? And uh, he's holding his fourth sword because this is power, this is having the ability to act maybe in a in a way with this Ten of Swords that might be <clears throat> negative, but um, and it's choosing not to. It's choosing to go within. It's choosing peace over strife. It's choosing to move on, okay, and have a new perspective. We have protection. Call back your power. Cut the cord. Soul retrieval. Exactly. That's what this person has done, okay. They have called back their power. There's no more fighting. There's no more swords. It's just time to move on and um, not allow situations or other people to control you, okay, to control how you feel um, and to control your actions. Like when you move uh, away from this Ten of Swords, it needs to be authentic. It needs to be not a running from, but a moving to. And there's a really big difference in that. So, you know, keep that in mind. All right, I'm going to get one of these light cards here. All right. Oh, that one. Okay. Awakening. Yeah, so this is a whole other level of awakening. This is a whole other level of awareness, all right? Uh, this ten of swords, this moment here, this is awakening, okay? That moment right there is awakening. Uh, you are waking up to the truth of you and the power of you. This is an empowered self, what I'm feeling. Like someone who knows they have ability, knows what they can do, and is choosing the right moment, is choosing the right, by uh, changing the perspective, they're seeing that they can choose their moment and um, they can create the life that they want from this sense of power after coming through this, all right? Yeah, but um, there's a need here to be protective of your energy, all right? So, you know, don't let people come in and steal your joy. It, when you get to a place of joy, hold it there. And don't let the uh, environment or people take it from you, okay? Because you having joy right now is extremely powerful. Okay, we have remembrance, all right? It's important to, with this Ten of Swords situation, it's important to remember the good, okay? Okay. I'm sure in every situation there's good and bad. And if you can move forward getting the good from it, uh, then you'll grow. You can grow from that. And uh, you never know what can happen in the future, right? Let go. That's exactly this. It's getting the good and letting go. Just remembering remembering how good things were or how, um, how much you learned from this person or this situation, whatever this is. And let go of the rest. Just let it go. And move forward. You, you are not going to be able to move forward until you let it go. And it, it's painful. I feel a lot of pain within the collective right now about something. And it's different for everyone. But there, there's a need to just let it go. And good things will come. Good things will come. It's not easy. I'm not saying, oh, just let it go. It, it's a process. And that's the process that we've been talking about these last several days. Um, of uh, just knowing it's done. And it's time to move into newer energy, all right? So uh, be kind to yourself, all right? Protect your energy and just know this is another level of awakening, all right? And um, have a good day, all right? So this is what I got for you guys. So I hope this resonated. If it did or it didn't, please leave me a comment in the comment section down below. I'd love to talk to you guys. I hope you have a beautiful day. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.